Hey guys, Darlington Farm here, just out here in the shop working today and uh, got a quick project here for the Kearney Tracker Mill. We're going to go through and we got to make a nut for the uh, horizontal arbor support here. So basically, if you've never seen one of these before, uh, you can, uh, this is a horizontal mill, this is a spindle back here. You can either run like a face mill or a, an end mill holder in it back here, or you can run a horizontal arbor, which is this guy here. And you got your arbor support out here and I got all this with it except I didn't get the nut that goes on the end of here so I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do I got a piece of 4140 we're gonna go ahead and turn a uh, turn a nut on the lathe here uh, that will just go on here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it to where it's about the same oh about the same uh, diameter as these guys here so it'll slip through this uh, bushing here there's a bronze bushing in here uh, that's on a wedge, so you turn this turn this guy here and it tightens up that bushing. And I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just kind of make it, make my nut about the same diameter as this guy here to where it'll slip through there and probably just mill two flats on it. So it should be pretty easy and uh, going to get to it here. All right, so I got a piece of 4140 chucked up in the lathe behind me here, and uh, today I'm going to try a little bit different uh, turning tool. I've got a pair of these big uh, triangular TNMG insert uh, tools that I really like. Uh, I've got a whole drawer full of uh, different uh, insert turning tools over there that I got off a guy, and I've never really tried uh, the different ones. I just kind of gravitated towards those two just because that happened to be the first pair I grabbed out of there. They worked. So I didn't mess with it. So anyway, I'm trying to do a little bit different one today. It's a small insert deal right there that uh, I've got a uh, package of inserts for. So we're gonna give that guy a try here. All right, so that's a pretty impressive little insert. Uh, I've got a VFD on my lathe here, which is a variable frequency drive, and I have it set to where I can just look over there and watch the current draw as the machine as the machine's running there, so I can kind of get an idea on the, of the spindle load. 
and it, uh, it pegged out at about 13 amps there, which is pretty impressive because about a similar cut with uh, this bigger TNMG insert here. Uh, will peak up around 1820, something like that. So pretty impressed so far. Gave a really gorgeous looking surface finish. And uh, yeah, I'm impressed. I may have to use that guy more often. Uh, I uh, have a pack of inserts for it, so kind of why not?
All right, so I'm giving this guy a go here, tapping this in the lathe. Uh, bored it out to 1.179 inches. And then uh, now I'm just gonna go ahead and run the tap in it. I use the tailstock here to kind of help align it. And uh, we're just gonna let it, let the lathe drag it on in. All right, I'm really pleased with the way this turned out. I'm gonna try and get you in there close so you can see, but threads look really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and part this guy off here and then we'll take it over the mill and cut some flats on it so we can actually, you know, put a wrench on it. All right guys, so I'm getting ready to make the cuts for my wrench flats here. I just got my uh, lathe chuck stuck on my uh, index here. We're just gonna go ahead and make two flats on it. And I haven't exactly decided quite how big yet. So I think I'm just gonna make a couple flats here and see what it looks like. And then we'll try and get it close to a wrench size. All right, so that's one of the nice things about having a DRO. I can just go ahead and zero my DRO on my x-axis where I made that cut, and then I can just go over here uh, to the other side of my nut, and we'll just see if we can get relatively close to an actual wrench size. I guess it would help to get the quill up out of the way. to the threads here but not so far that it looks like it's gonna cause me some issues so if I make it right at two inches puts me right there and I'm real close to two inches so I can just go ahead make that I think right at two inches so I can just go ahead and put a two inch wrench on it and be done with it
All right, guys, well, this is pretty exciting. Getting ready to make the first cuts here with the Kearney Tracker Mill. Uh, I've used it with a shell mill in it before, but this is the first time I actually have a horizontal cutter in there and actually have it doing kind of about what it's supposed to. So pretty excited about it here. Put you guys down, let you see this. All right, well that's interesting. As you can kind of hear there, I've got some run out and I noticed in this front bushing, whenever I start this up, you can kind of see that moving around. So maybe I don't have that front bushing tight enough. Tighten the nut up here. So we got our wobble out of there. All right, I'm excited. First cut with the uh, first cut with the KT mill here. As you can hear there, it needs um, it needs some new belts. One of them in there is real loose and just kind of flopping around. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. I can actually use this guy now. I uh, need to go through. Uh, I've got a bunch of cutters for this guy. I need to go ahead and go through them and uh, figure out what I can use and what I need. Uh, find a couple other arbor supports here and uh, I still if anybody out there uh, knows a good place where I can get The parts for this end here. I'd be obliged if you just you know leave a comment below Anyway, I'm Darlington farm. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check back the channel here for more content like it